Back to Allen and Law, this is Quick OBGYN. Today we're gonna talk about the quick overview of management of iron deficiency anemia, iron deficiency anemia. Okay, it's a quick what you call a quick overview. Okay, depending on the gestational age, how do you manage? Okay. Iron deficiency anemia is a really very common what you call uh, um, disease or complication seen in a pregnancy because of what you call uh, growth of the fetus, okay, requirement by the fetus, okay. So that's why you see very commonly. So how do you manage really very important. So let's talk about this. Let's put into three categories. That's uh, gestational age less than 30 weeks, less than 30 weeks, okay, and gestational age between 30 to what you call 31 to 36 weeks okay and if the gestation is more than 36 weeks okay guys 36 weeks right so we divided into three less than 30 weeks 30 to 36 weeks and a third more than 36 weeks okay so in a 30 weeks we can play more right so it's a still growing fetus is growing so we can lot we do have a lot many options and if she's diagnosed with iron deficiency anemia how do you produce proceed now remember if there's a diagnosis is confirmed okay what you have to do is start with oral first is oral remember oral iron therapy okay right oral iron therapy could be started and if it's a non-compliance okay or intolerance by the patient then you can start with IM intramuscular injection of iron or what you call intravenous iron okay the two options we have so, so many things we have if she is less than 30 weeks of gestation okay and if, with this disease if she has a folic acid deficiency then you can start with the oral folate therapy in this age group okay guys so let's move on to between 31 to 36 or 30 to 36 weeks if there is iron deficiency anemia then you don't have the option of giving orally okay because it takes a longer time to show the effect, to, the, to show the growth of what you call the um, rise of the HP, hemoglobin, or uh, iron production, okay? That's why it's not use of giving what you call a oral therapy. Then what we start with the parental, we have two options, as we said, is either it could be intramuscular or it could be intravenous, okay? Right? Parental therapy is really very important. No oral therapy role in what you call between 30 to 36 weeks. And if there is a folic acid deficiency, you can give oral folate therapy. Remember, oral folate can be given at this age, at this gestational age also. Let's talk about the pregnancy more than 30 weeks, okay? And you don't have the option of giving what you call intramuscular or intravenous because you already cross what you call a uh, pregnancy, what you call a, the time for uh, giving, okay? Uh, she might go into the labor soon, so it's blood, better is a blood transfusion. Blood transfusion is the best method, okay? So this is a quick overview of iron deficiency anemia, how to manage depending on the gestational age. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.